Hi, my name's Adam. I'm in Sydney and I'm at Central Station as you can see behind me. This is a heritage listed building first opened in 1906. Today we're travelling to Canberra by train. The train takes about 4 hours and 10 minutes to travel 320 kilometres. This is quite a bit slower than driving. It's about a 3 hour drive to Canberra. As a result, only about 1% of people take the train. But let's go see what it's like. Central Station is the largest and busiest railway station in Australia, serving as a major interchange for intercity and commuter services. To the east of the terminal building are 10 through platforms used by suburban services. Platforms 1 to 12 are terminating platforms, primarily used for medium and long distance services, including regional and intercity trains. This is the Grand Concourse, which includes departure screens for the trains using these platforms. If you want to see the original indicator board dating from 1905, it's on display in Sydney's Powerhouse Museum. Here's my train being prepared for service. It's a New South Wales Explorer diesel multiple unit. These trains first entered service in October 1993. Services to Canberra typically comprise three cars, but more can be added if needed. These trains were built by ABB Transportation in Dandenong, Melbourne. The sets are scheduled to be replaced by new bi-mode regional trains that will enter service from 2023. Let's hop aboard. Today's train comprises two economy cars and one first class car, which is at the front. Seating in both classes is arranged in a two by two configuration. The main differences between first and economy is extra legroom and greater seat recline. There is no complimentary service in first class. These trains were refurbished between 2007 and 2008. Each seat features a footrest, space to store personal items, a tray table with a cup holder, and an overhead reading lamp. There are no charging points or Wi-Fi. You can store small bags above your seat, while there's luggage space near the vestibule, or you can check in your luggage depending on your destination. We depart Sydney on time at 12.01 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, shortly I'll be coming through the carriages with our hot meal reservation tickets. Meals available today include roast pork with vegetables. We have a Thai green chicken curry. I have spaghetti bolognese and some vegetable lasagna available. These meals cost $10.50 and take approximately 40 to 50 minutes to organise. If you're wanting one of these meals, please make sure you take a ticket from me. If not, we do have some pies, sausage rolls, spinach and ricotta rolls and a variety of sandwiches available. The construction work is for Sydney's new Metro, which will connect Chatswood in the northwest with Bankstown via a new line under Sydney Harbour and the CBD. Let's take another look at the route between Sydney and Canberra. This is the route by road, which takes a bit over three hours depending on traffic to travel the 286 kilometres. The train route is not so direct. It's 330 kilometres and takes about an hour longer. Here's the timetable for today's service. Some of the stations are request stops, so we'll only stop if someone is getting on or off. There are three Sydney to Canberra trains per day in each direction. Today's service is fully booked, but at half capacity because of COVID-19, so I get an empty seat next to me. Because each carriage is self-powered by a diesel engine, it's not the quietest journey. Each car can carry enough fuel for a 1,600 kilometre trip. This is more than enough to operate the weekly long distance service to Broken Hill. That's a 1,125 kilometre trip from Sydney, taking about 13 hours and 20 minutes. 
This service has been born New South Wales Trainlink services is strictly no smoking. This means smoking is not permitted on any New South Wales Trainlink service station or platform. New South Wales Trainlink practices responsible service of alcohol. Therefore, we have restrictions on alcohol. Drinking alcohol is not permitted unless you have purchased it from our onboard licensed buffet. You may be asked for proof of age identification when purchasing alcohol. An onboard crew also reserve the right to, re to refuse service of alcohol. If we have any elderly or special needs passengers travelling with us today who may require assistance with the buffet, please inform a crew member and tray service may be organised and delivered to your seat. As you may already be aware, in early January a public health order was put into place in New South Wales, making it mandatory for passengers travelling to wear a face mask. On this particular service, it's mandatory to wear a face mask from Sydney Central through to Bargo Station. We will make a further announcement once we reach Bargo Station to advise that it is no longer mandatory to wear your face mask. However, New South Wales Train Link and Transport for New South Wales strongly recommends passengers to wear face masks for your entire journey. I now invite you to sit back, relax and enjoy your journey with New South Wales Train Link. If we can be of any assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. Thank you and good afternoon. Just south of here, we reach the end of the electrified Sydney Trains network at MacArthur. meals ready about an hour after leaving Sydney. I've bought a white wine to go with my meal which is roast pork and vegetables served with a hot bread roll. The pork is a bit bland but for the very reasonable price of $10.50 for a hot meal I'm not going to complain. We're now entering the Southern Highlands which are part of the Great Dividing Range. The Southern Highlands are served by a commuter rail service using Endeavour rail cars. You might have spotted these in Campbelltown. Mechanically identical to the train we are on but with high density seating suited to its shorter distances, the service typically operates once an hour on weekdays. The Southern Highlands is a very beautiful part of New South Wales. Its cool climate means it's mostly green and is a popular destination for getaways from Sydney. Our first stop after leaving Greater Sydney is Mittagong, which is a gateway to the Southern Highlands. The area boasts more than 60 vineyards. A short time later, we pull into Bowral, the largest town in the Southern Highlands. Burradu is a suburb of Barrel known for its historic manor houses and high property prices. Ladies and 
gentlemen, in a few minutes' time, this service will be arriving at Mossvale Station. Passengers leaving this service at Mossvale, please prepare to do so. Before leaving this service, please check around your seats, your front seat pockets, and your overhead luggage racks for items you may have overlooked. Mossvale Station, our next stop. This cross-country line connects with the Illawarra, including Port Kembla, and is regularly used by freight trains. Although there's no regular passenger service, it is often used by Heritage Rail Tours. Mossvale features a heritage listed railway station built in 1867. Imagine living on this hill with superb views of the main rail corridor between Sydney and Melbourne. That would be awesome. Bundanoon is a request stop. The railway station dates from 1915 and is heritage listed. I've slowed down the footage for a closer look. This branch line is used by Boral to transport limestone from its pepper tree quarry to cement works in Berrimer, not far from Mossvale. We've now left the southern highlands and find ourselves in the southern tablelands, where much of the land has been cleared and used for grazing. The weather gradually becomes more overcast as we head further south. Let's take a look in the bathroom. Simple and clean, but functional. There's also an accessible toilet available in one of the economy cars. This service will be arriving at Goulburn train station. Passengers leaving this service at Goulburn, please prepare to do so. The city of Goulburn has been a major railway centre since the 1860s and is the final stop before the train branches off the main southern line to head towards Canberra. Goulburn was proclaimed a city in 1863, making it Australia's first inland city. The railway station opened in 1869. The Sydney-Goulburn line was established after a group of Goulburn businessmen decided there was a need for a safer and more efficient way to get their wool and other produce to Sydney. 
There's still plenty of relics from the heyday of rail in Goulburn, including this water supply which is used to top up the tanks of steam engines. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on departure from Goulburn, our system indicates we have no passengers joining or leaving this service at Tarrigo. Any passengers on board that wish to leave this service at Tarrigo, please inform a crew member in the bus immediately. If we have no one leaving this service at Tarrigo and the platform is clear, we will not be stopping there this afternoon. Our next stop will be Fungendor. Also on departure from Goulburn, this service is running 10 minutes off the schedule. This is due to speed restrictions along the way and we do apologise about the inconvenience caused. This wagon building and maintenance facility is operated by Chicago Freight Leasing Australia. The company also performs maintenance for other operators such as Horizon. Goulburn is home to heritage listed railway workshops and a museum, including a 42 road roundhouse. We're now branching off the main southern railway which continues to Albury and eventually on to Melbourne. We are now on the Bombala line, which ironically no longer goes to Bombala. The southern end of the line, from Bombala to Cooma, was closed in 1986 and passenger services stopped south of Queen Bianne in 1988. Bungendore is a request stop. nearing the end of the line at Canberra, let's look at fares for this journey. An economy fare is about $40 one way, while first class is just under $60. Checked luggage is included with either fare. The train line follows the border between New South Wales and the Australian Capital Territory. New South Wales is on the train's left and the ACT is on the right. Queen Bianne is another heritage listed station and dates from 1887. The town of Queen Bianne is essentially a commuter town for Canberra, which is 15 kilometres away. One major difference is that Queen Bian is in the state of New South Wales, while Canberra is in the Australian Capital Territory. So although Canberra's just up the road, people in Queen Bian are governed from Sydney. We're now passing through a light industrial area, Fishwick, on the outskirts of Australia's capital city, Canberra. Ladies and gentlemen, in a few minutes time, this service will arrive into our final destination, Canberra Kingston Station. 
Can we finally ask passengers to return their seats into the upright positions and lower the armrests as they were when you joined their service? This will assist the crew with the turnaround of this train as it will shortly be returning back to Sydney Central. Passengers with booked through luggage, this can be collected on the platform towards the rear of the train shortly after arrival. On behalf of New South Wales Training, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for choosing to travel with us. I hope your journey has been a pleasant one and look forward to seeing you again on one of our many XPT and Explorer services. Canberra Kingston Station, our next and final stop where this service will terminate. Thank you and good afternoon. And here we are at our destination. Let me sum up this trip. Sure, it takes longer than driving or flying, but the journey is reasonably priced and offers lovely views through the Southern Highlands and beyond. Being able to enjoy these views with a hot meal that costs just over $10 is a winning combination. It's a very civilized way to travel. I recommend it. Canberra Railway Station is located in the suburb of Kingston, about seven kilometres from Canberra's CBD, Civic. There are bus services, or you can catch a taxi or use a ride-sharing service. And what's more appropriate than one of Australia's national emblems, the kangaroo, enjoying the national capital. If you enjoyed this video, I'd be grateful if you can hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. See you soon.